Hello everybody, welcome back to another Adobe After Effects tutorial. In this one, I'm going to show you how to create fog. Very, very simple. It's a subtle effect, as you can see here. We've got some fog in a nice shipwreck looking old boat in the middle of the water. Here's the original footage. It's very, very bright. It's exposed. It's got a very high contrast here between the, the background. And it's a little overexposed, as you can see. But once we get our friggin' mitts on this thing, boom, we've kind of changed it to overcast. We added in some fog. It looks a little darker, a little bit more, I don't know, scary. So how do we do it? Simple. Let's go. I'm going to delete that layer. Here's our original footage. As you can see here, we've got a boat in the water. Next step, if you're following along, is we want to go up to the layer, create new, solid. And this one, we're going to create a white layer. Do note that you can change the color if you if you know the exact color that you want to go with, go with that. But I'm going to create a white layer and we'll tint it later. So create white layer, new solid, white, just like that. It goes over top of it. Presto. Looking good, guys. Here we go. The next step is we're going to add a mask to it. How do we do that? We go up to the rectangle tool up here. Left click on it, rectangle tool. And we're going to, oops, we're going to go ahead and create a mask. Now, in this one, I'm going to mask it right to about here because we're going to feather this area. I'm going to go zoom in. We're going to feather the area from closest to the camera or closest to the viewer and further out. But again, if you need the whole thing to be masked, go ahead. But we're just going to go ahead and do it this way. And then we're going to left click on the selection tool. So what do we got? We got a white solid layer. We've masked it. We're now going to feather that layer. So how do we do that? When you're making sure you're selecting the solid, just click the F key and that loads up mask and feather. Now I'm going to go ahead and feather this a lot, like way more than normal than you would expect normally. Let's go with about seven, yeah, something like this. And the reason why is because it's a, basically fog is usually a little less visible the closer it is to you and a little more visible the further away it is from you. So we're just doing a little visual trick here by adding in that feather. Okay, good. We are now on our way. Okay, so we've got white fog, but in this case, I don't really want to go with white fog. I kind of want it to go with a little bit of a bluer look. And the reason why is because it gives, you know, we're kind of getting that scary movie vibe. So I'm going to add in a tint. This is optional. If you just want white fog, go ahead and keep it white. But I'm going to just change the coloring a little bit. So I typed in, in under effects and presets, I typed in tint. I'm going to left click on it and drag and drop it on top of the white solid. It does nothing initially, but we're just going to change the colors. So I'm going to map the white from pure white to some sort of bluey-ish color. We're going to add in, let's go with a darker blue, and then we'll dial down the opacity later. So here we go. You'll see here, and this actually sells the effect a little more. So you'll see what we're doing. I'm going to left click on OK. So now we've got this lightish, bluish, almost purplish fog, which we will adjust. But here we go. You see where we're going with this? Excellent. You'll also see the feathering here quite a bit at the bottom. All good. The next step here is we're going to add in some fractal noise. This is how we create the movement, the illusion of moving fog. So uh, we're going to go type in under effects and presets, like right here. Type in fractal, and under noise and grain, you'll see fractal noise. Drag and drop that bad boy on top of the white solid. This makes a bit of a mess of things, but not to panic. We're going to go ahead and make those changes. Okay, the first one is we want to go ahead and change the scaling on this. It's quite, it's it's definitely quite up there. So we want to change it from a basic scale of 100. You'll see here that I went under Fractal Noise, Transform, Scale. We're going to boost this way up because we want this to be a very, very, very subtle effect. So something like, Let's go with something like this, okay? Okay, this is this is in the middle. Like, if you wanted to really scale it, like if you scale it way down, you're really going to see the effect. If you scale it way up, it's very unbelievably subtle. So I just want to, let's go with somewhere in the middle so you can see it. But then again, you can tailor this to your, you know, to your taste. So we're going to go with a scale of about 900. Let's just go with 900-ish, okay? Good stuff. There we go, 901. Good enough for this one. Okay, so what do we got? We got this, but it's it looks like it's kind of foggish, but at the same time, it's not moving and it's just not quite there. So let's go ahead now and make some more changes. The next one is we got to get this moving. And the way to do that is you want to left click on this evolution here. So 
we're going to go ahead and we're going to, well, let's see if we want to change the complexity. I don't. Okay, we're going to go on evolution. Left click on that stopwatch, making sure that your playhead is at the beginning or wherever you want the fog to start moving. So I'm going to go putting my playhead at the beginning. Left click on that little stopwatch and we're going to have it set at 0, 0, which is the default. Now let's go forward. Let's go to about the part. Well, let's just go to the end here. And we're going to have the fog at the end of the 12 seconds. We're going to have it basically doing some movement. So I'm going to go ahead and make it move four evolutions just so you can see what's happening. See how the fog is moving? Now that might be a little bit overdone. I don't know. I'd probably take it down to about three if I was making this for a film. Let's go with three. But again, I'm just selling you on the effect. It's a subtle effect, right? So there we go. Now we've got this up and running. We've got some fog moving. It is nowhere near ready, but we're on our way. The next step is we're going to go ahead and drop this opacity a little bit. We're going to drop it down to about 70. So now you can see what's happening. we got some fog going on there. Okay, good stuff. We're actually letting there pretty close. The tint, so we drop the, we drop the opacity on the fractal noise. Now we're going to go up to the tint and we're going to dial down the tint a little bit. I'm going to drop this down to about 70 because it's a little bit overdone. And now let's take a quick look. Okay, so the fog is there. It's a bit much, not going to lie. But again, we're selling the effect. If I go back to this white solid now, I can go ahead and press T. And that allows us to change the opacity of the solid. And if I dial this down to say 70%, now look what we got. We have kind of generated fog out of nothing. It's pretty close to as good as you're going to get without going into like some really fancy tutorials without some really fancy software, guys. That's how you create fog. Those are the steps. Thanks for watching. Ton more stuff coming up. Stay tuned. Be back soon.